What is up, everyone? Happy December 1st. It's December 1st, 2023. One month left in 2023. Hard to believe. And we got futures down a little bit. Dow was up over 500 points by the end of yesterday. So we will have to see what happens here on the first day of December. But uh, November was definitely, uh, especially the last couple weeks, really, really had a strong push up. See here, October 27th, the S&P was about 4,100. You can see what happened here in November. Just, just a big push up. I know the uh, zero DTE... Traders definitely would like to see some downside movement. Need some volatility. Zero DTEs. And there is the bell. So it's Friday, so volume is usually a little bit lower in terms of trading volume. So the last two, my last two live streams, man, I I have had it a rough go at it. So hoping to get a couple trades in today and get December started off in the green. Some say we'll have a, a continued Christmas rally as we head into towards the end of the year here, but we'll see. Since today is Friday, we will trade the seven days to expiration option chain. So make sure you're on the seven DTE. I see the Tesla long-awaited Cybertruck is uh, almost ready. It's going to start at about $61,000, which probably isn't that much compared to, and you see some of the truck prices, these GMC, Fords, Chevys that are the diesel trucks, and they could be almost hundred k. So that's probably not that bad of a price, really. If the base price for the Cybertruck is sixty one thousand dollars, you know, who, who's going to buy the base the base truck? I mean, you're probably going to buy 
buy it with some upgrades and it's probably it'll probably run another 10 15k on top of that A lot of stocks in the red today. Boeing, Square, Costco in the green. PayPal in the green. Most everything else. Coinbase up 2%. Most everything else in the red. AMD really falling. So is Goog. Goog. Yesterday, Mighty 90 hurt me. I was telling Benji. Uh, he asked a question yesterday. I posted it in the chat last yesterday evening. I, I did after the live stream. Uh, take a little downside continuation runner in Goog. And got some of that money back. From that Mighty 90 loss. So most everything showing up in red here with the exception of Boeing. I guess square just flipped green. MU's had a tough go at it lately. See if we get any big volume bars here on a Friday. Costco trying to push up through highs of day along with Boeing. Those are the two, two strongest. Now Home Depot is pushing up. Morning, rookie trader. And Boeing. I actually had some calls that I took in Boeing kind of based off NTT a few days ago. I closed them out. What was it, Wednesday? After just a day. I should have kept them on, man. Yesterday I was a big push-up in Boeing.
AMD now reversing, getting up through highs of day. Right, blockchain pushing up. Not really seeing any big volume bars that look enticing. Yeah, right. Blockchain, if you want something smaller there, if it pulls back, you could do an upside volume runner there. But other than that, I don't really see anything else. So we'll just be patient and wait. NVIDIA trying to push up through highs. Dow up 38. NASDAQ down 58. S&P down 5. All right, blockchain pulling back a little bit. If anybody wants a small stock. See if we can find a mighty 90, maybe. KNG pushing through highs now. Right, blockchain had that little pullback. Now it's pushed up. A lot of times on Fridays, there isn't much going on. So usually just try to get a couple trades in. Nothing shaking here. You, you get a lot of stair stepping down in volume bars whenever you're, it's, it's Friday. Roblox, potential upside volume runner there. That bar is definitely, definitely big as the first. Let me check toss. Roblox has been a little quirky lately.
Yeah, Roblox definitely definitely got there and toss. So we need to see a little pullback here. All right, blockchain. I don't know if anybody jumped in there, but it's definitely working. Right, it's getting another big bar. So cryptos must be doing pretty good. Coinbase up over 3%. AMD. I don't think it's going to get there. Goog. Should we try the old Goog Mighty 90 again? Let's see, what, see if it gives me. Another push down here. Again, trading the seven DTE. So make sure you're on the right one. All right, Goog. I would trade the 133 calls in Goog. Not going to get in right now. You can see it's popped up a little bit. I'm going to see if it pushes down here. So I'll probably let's, let's see if it, I can get filled at a buck thirty. Put it down and see if it wants to come down and get me. If it takes off, it takes off. I don't know what was going on with Goog yesterday. Same thing today. It's just been a, a grind lower. That's pretty good mighty 90 signal though. It's got that nice pop volume pop in it. You can see there. Yeah, it looks like it left me. All right. I'll just let it sit, sit for a second. Still plenty of time left on this bar. Much pullback in Riot. Yeah, I'm going to cancel my Goog. Cancel that. Wasn't wasn't aggressive enough, but probably because I got stung by it yesterday, I was seeing if I could push down one more time. Nice. Nice rookie trader. Yeah, that zero DTE, man, it moves fast. You you can make big profits quick. And on the reverse side, you could make big losses quick. I mean, Steve and I tried it for about two or three weeks. And after we were like, figured out how what type of losses you can in incur. We're like, yeah, we better stick to the 7 DTE for this. Let's see, Benji, question. How do you determine the price? Uh, just through just through practice. There's no there's no delta or anything now. So like 
for Goog, I mean, it was setting it like, let me see, it was setting it like a buck 40. And it was, I could tell that it was not at its lowest point. So I just, it just from, just from doing it hundreds and hundreds of times, thousands of times. It's like in anything else, you know, you kind of get, you know, if it was, if it had pushed down through it and it was at the very bottom, then I'm aggressive, I'll get right in. If not, if I want it to come down a little more, I might adjust it five cents lower, 10 cents lower. There you go. Nice job, rookie trader. <laughs> Morning, Bumblebee. We're not in anything yet. Goog, it, it, it's still, man, you can see it's struggling. Roblox, Roblox coming down. I don't know if I want to get in Roblox, though. It's a little quirky. Yeah, so Goog, Goog did, did come down. So, again, 133 calls in Goog. I'm still going to try 130 here, dollar thirty to get filled. Filled at a dollar thirty one. One thirty three calls. Hoping now for two green bars, and I will get out of half at. $1.45, let's say. AMD coming down. Little mighty 90 there in Intel. You see that? You want a mighty 90 to jump into? And Riot. A lot of green with Riot today. Yeah, see Roblox, man, it just I've noticed it gets a lot of big bars a lot of times. But it'll get them, it'll get them and go in both directions. <laughs> Boeing, man, strong. Should have held on to my Boeing calls that I had a couple days ago. Goog trying to give us one green bar. I was tempted to adjust and get out of half. I was just a couple pennies away. Roku pushing highs of day.
PayPal get firing up here, but pretty tight range. Yeah, see, I was afraid Goog was going to come back down there. It's real close to adjusting to get out of half. I saw this song and dance yesterday. Push down. Just a little pause and another push down. Not able to give us two green bars. But it's a new day. Shouldn't uh, shouldn't use what happened in the past on making decisions. Intel pushing back down. Check Intel and cheap options. So I'm not gonna as I say that's a pretty good looking mighty 90 setup there, but it's not at the, at the money it's 50 cents. Okay, one green bar out of Goog. Microsoft staying weak as well. NVIDIA with a little three-bar pullback here. That's how a lot of times a continuation runner forms. Push up, little three-bar pullback, and then continue higher. I have to see if this, if it drops below right here, then I would say it's a no-go. I'm going to go ahead and check out an NVIDIA continuation to the upside runner. Four seventy calls. Go to seven sixty five. I kind of wanted to wait till 750. I was trying to put it at 750, but got kind of aggressive there. It could be a quick turnaround trade. I mean, if it can't, if it pushes down below this point right there, then I'm out. Come on, Goog. Man, target pushing up. A little early for a continuation runner, but hey, pal, through highs of day. Ah, Nvidia, or pop right back up. All right, closing my NVIDIA. Filled at 735 to close. So small loser. Not too disappointed in that. Um, I knew it might be a quick trade if it pushed through there, and it would be a really nice winner if it would have pushed up. So 
Got AMD coming down too with it. Chip stocks have been kind of weak here. It's you know, MU coming down. So no second green bar here out of Goog. Tell you what, though, Dow futures have continued upward. Microsoft really getting hit hard. Goog's holding on, though. You know, it's not. Hasn't really been able to push through lows. You know, like MU's doing. Not very many good signals this morning, though. It's kind of typical for a Friday. Yes, Microsoft, I didn't notice it. It had a little bit of a mighty 90. I mean, it's not a ton of volume pop there, but... PayPal really pushing through highs. Yeah, Intel Mighty 90 would have been good if you could have got in right down here at this pivot. Yeah, it's kind of got a volume runner if you want a smaller stock to trade there. It's kind of pulling back a little bit. Wouldn't be a good, would have been really good to enter right here at yesterday's high, that blue line. What's DKNG's, uh, how much are there? He used to trade it all the time. Yeah, 73 cents at the money. I need some of these stocks to go up just to be able to get back into a good price to be able to trade them. Build it Goog. dollar forty five to close half. Yeah, nice push up there by Goog. You owe me, Goog. I would get out of another Goog at a buck sixty. AMD not participating in this push up. Here's NVIDIA. <laughs> NASDAQ's been the weakest the last couple days. NASDAQ's still in the red. SP's went into the green.
Uh, the only, no, I don't really trade the news. The only, the only time I might be a little weary is if like, um, oh, Jerome Powell speaking or something, but that's usually later in the day, not first hour of the market. So with these strategies, sometimes there's like CPI numbers that come out. And so I might be a little leery of those, but that's about it. You know, if 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 you're trading and you're you've got your risk management, def, you know, define you got your uh, risk management strategies that you use should be fine. But um, yeah, you know, the inflation reports that come out and the CPI numbers, like those can those can have a little bit of an effect. So I, I'm a little I tend to tend to know when those are happening. But otherwise, not so much on some of the other stuff. Yeah, we got one nice, nice green bar there by from Goog. Let's see if we can get one more. And Microsoft, it, look at that! It pushed up and came all the way back down. Square kind of had a big volume bar to the upside. Look at Square on this little pullback. Sixty-four calls in Square. Filled at a buck sixty. So I, I was aggressive in getting in because it was came right down to this pivot. Big green bar and had pulled back a little bit and then came down to this pivot. And I would close half at a buck seventy five. AMD coming back down to lows of day. It's kind of hard to believe with this push up and MU chip stocks, man, struggling. Filled at a buck seventy five to close half of square, and filled at a buck sixty to close another goog. Had a boy goog. You owed me. You so owed me. Get out another square at a dollar ninety. Boeing looks like a little continuation to the upside three bar pullback. And Microsoft still falling. 
Crazy. So Goo going to give us hopefully two green bars here. So I'm going to go ahead and close my Goog. Just kind of hoping to close it as it pushed up. But I better not be greedy here. This time we got 30 seconds. Okay, I'm going to close my Goog. Filled it a buck 62 to close Goog. So Mighty 90 winner. DKNG with a big volume bar to the upside. Jet, what time do you set up your um usually usually about now? Yeah, typically 20 deltas. Yeah, 50 wide, yeah, pretty much. Sometimes I kind of just monitor, I, you know, when it looks like maybe the S P futures are starting to chop a little bit, and then I'll enter. I know that you a lot of people use that option Omega and they do the back testing on what time of the day is best and all that. I haven't really gotten in that far into it yet. Uh, I do just what the course says. Uh, I, I get out of half at 20% profit and I set my stop at 75% loss or, or, you know, if, if I'm, if I get filled at eight bucks, eight times, 0.75, whatever that number is, that's what my stop is. It's the same thing as what he, Steve, how he does it in the, in the course. If it's the afternoon iron condors, then I just do four bucks. You can G pull them back a little bit after a big bar. You want a smaller stock. What else is cracking here? Only thing I'm in is square. Tend to get a lot of chop on Friday too. Like look at Amazon. It's just just kind of chop city. Boeing, man, it's really looking like a potential for an upside volume runner. Boeing's been so strong lately, though. Like, how much has it got left in it? Take a look at a daily chart of Boeing. Yeah, look at this. I mean, it's been on fire throughout November. So it's like, how much... Man, how much does it got left in it? I did. I did see on one of the business channels, they thought um, Boeing would go up to about 275. It's currently at 234. So I'll take a little risk on Boeing. Looks like continuation runner. 235 calls. Try to fill that. 275. Filled it 275. Upside volume runner. So what I'll do with this one on this continuation runner, if it falls down below right here, where this it kind of paused and then it had a nice push up, if it falls below that, then I'll just cut it.
square coming back down to this pivot. Darn it. Really haven't had many good short signals, honestly. Future's coming down. Future's coming down a little bit. Man, Microsoft. Just bleeding lower. Leading lower. I get out of half my um, Boeing at three bucks. Samuel, there was there was no yeah no uh. -uh. No, no, no short signals. There was maybe a long, maybe mighty 90 there a little bit, but no real, no real, real short signals. Not real sure what's been getting into Microsoft here. Microsoft and Goog, man, they've struggled the last few days. But again, so is technology. I mean, the NASDAQ's really struggled. If it pulls back, you mean if it bounces? Like if you're getting short something, you want to bounce. Pullback would be something that you would then get long. Um, I mean, possibly. Possibly. I don't I don't know that it's gonna bounce here though. Costco coming down through lows. Boeing's still hanging in there. Square's still hanging in there. Really not much in terms of volume, in terms of uh, signals with, with volume today. Had that one mighty 90. Volume runner with a big bar here and square. AMD bleeding lower as well. NVIDIA through lows. You can see that was a good out on that continuation. Try to continuation to the upside. Once it breached where I wanted it to be there, that was a good out. Small loss, low risk. But yeah, no no signals here really. You need, need a nice little push up for Boeing here. Again, I got a 
order in at three bucks. Airbnb trying to go through highs of day. Real close. I thought I might get filled and bowing with this little push up. Apple trying to come up to highs of day. And how did I not get filled and bowing? Not for sure. There we go. Filled at three bucks in Boeing. Nice push up there. Square needed to go through highs of day. So it seems like. AMD, NVIDIA, Microsoft, kind of keeping the NASDAQ down. It's definitely the weakest on the day. I got a feeling if uh, NVIDIA and Microsoft and AMD decide they want to push up, that it might, might set off a rally to the upside. AMD's kind of had a you know mighty 90 in there. See how it's got it's had a couple of them. Just a little leery on it though, because we get close to 930 Central, which is don't usually take any trades at that time. And <clears throat> a little leery of it just bleeding lower today. Need Boeing to push through the pivot. It needs Square to push through highs of day. So that's my only two. I've got a winner in Goog, small loss in NVIDIA. I could get back on the Green Day path if, if Square and Boeing cooperate here. And that has really struggled too recently. Amazon and Apple just really tight range, which is not uncommon for a Friday. Hmm. AMD coming down through lows. See, there's, there's a good reason why you get out on two consecutive green bars in Goog. Look what happened after the two consecutive green bars. She fell. Boeing trying to get through that pivot. Yeah, 
PayPal pushing highs of day. So definitely some two-way action here. Roblox trying to get the highs of day. Airbnb going highs of day. Microsoft going lows of day. Meta going through lows of day. So definitely some two-way action. Costco came down to lows of day. And I'm in two trades that I need to go through highs of day. So I don't think I'm going to get any more trades. Things have slowed down here on a Friday. So this is what I'm going to do with my positions if you're in them. If Boeing comes down below right here, this point, this little consolidation point, I will cut it loose. And if Square pushes down below this pivot, I will cut it loose. Otherwise, I will just scale out up to about 10%. If it can continue upward, hopefully like Airbnb is doing in Roblox. But it may not be here. It's... Anyway, those are my exit points. And so if you're in those, that's where, that's where I'll exit. Uh, when I do exit, I'll post in the day trades channel. And uh, so that you know I'm out. So everyone have a great weekend. And I uh, will see everybody next week. Talk to you later. Peace.